our channel is called Invited. The reason why it's called Invited is because we know that in God's kingdom, we're all invited. But we want the world to know that you're actually welcomed. welcomed. That was good! That's so cute! <laughs> glad that you're here we have been expecting you this is my friend Michelle and this is my friend Sarah you already know our goal so we should probably introduce ourselves at this point but it's a little weird to talk about ourselves so I'm gonna talk about you okay and then I'll talk about you okay okay so this is Michelle Michelle has her own business and she is a wedding planner slash event coordinator uh, she's a very hard-working woman boss lady <laughs> And not only is she a very hardworking woman, she's also very obedient in listening to God's words and directions for her life. Or trying. I'm trying to be obedient. Okay. It's hard sometimes, but I appreciate you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my friend Sarah. Like I said, she is a worship leader. Um, she has the most amazing voice, and she actually leads worship at our home church, uh, Breakthrough Church in Aberdeen, New Jersey. So Michelle and I actually met about two years ago. Um, it was at the Young Adult Project. It was a Lyft project um, where we first met. Yeah, it was a young adult ministry um, that several of our friends lead. And we, I guess we met at, uh, what was it? Climbing? Um, it was rock hike, climbing. Rock climbing, yeah, yeah. We met at rock climbing. Um, Sarah gave me some, shot me some <laughs> units. I wasn't too sure what it was. For those of you who don't know what units are, she was looking at me funny. And um, I wasn't quite sure if it was that she didn't like me, if it was like a mean girl vibe, or if she was just trying to figure me, figure me out. Turns out, you were trying to figure me out. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Do you want to share like what you were thinking? Yeah, so when I first saw her, I was like, oh, she's pretty. Thank and, you. <laughs> and I knew right then that I was like, oh, I have a good feeling about her. I think I'm going to be really good friends with her. But I kind of didn't give up that vibe because you I was low-key, just lurking. You yeah, know? you were. Just a lurking. You were. Yeah, so that happened. And then I think we met at the next, it was a monthly, we had monthly meetings. So we met again um, at the next one. And there we actually uh, we actually connected because we were both looking for a home church. Yes. Um, we um, had been in the area for a while looking uh, and visiting different churches, but couldn't quite settle on one that felt like home. So um, at that point, I had actually started going to Breakthrough uh, Church, um, and I invited her. And so we exchanged phone numbers. Yes. yes. And then from that point on, we slowly just started becoming friends. Um, we got closer and closer, little by little, nothing too dramatic, I don't mm -hmm. think. And we just saw each other at gatherings and at church. And then we got baptized. Yes. That was last year in June. Yeah. June Two days 4th. after my birthday. Yeah, it was. And after that, I think that our friendship took like a extreme like fast yeah. track. I yes, feel like we, we became fast friends from there. Um, we used to take walks at the park and we would just talk and talk and talk about everything under the sun. Um, we really connected on our um love for Jesus and the fact that we were both really searching and trying to build a relationship with him. So August, we we're talking mm. about YouTube channels. She wanted to start a worship, uh, a worship, you know, singer type of um, YouTube channel with, you know, bits and pieces of her life. And I wanted to talk about business and entrepreneurship uh, again with bits and pieces of my life. And so we both um, had this dream of like, you know, sharing ourselves with the world and and all of that. But I think God had other plans. Yes, we actually stalled for, for a, while. a while, like six months. <laughs> we uh, didn't know what type of platform or even if we wanted to be in a platform. Right. Um, yeah, we did. We started yeah. doubting if we wanted yes. to even do it. Yeah. Because a lot of the times when we were first on this journey, a, a lot of the insecurities and the feelings of being unqualified really arose against of what we wanted to do. Um, so throughout our journey together, we realized that God just qualifies all the unqualified, and he makes you qualified. He does. We both knew, like, if we're going to do this, we want to do it right. We want to make sure that we are 
helping people in some way or another mm -hmm. not necessarily giving advice but sharing ourselves and our struggles mm -hmm. and what we know about god and jesus christ to be true and i think the biggest misconception about uh, christianity is thinking that you have to be perfect to cultivate a relationship with christ when in fact he really calls you right now where you are your situation in your brokenness in your pain and everything that you're dealing with day to day, he's asking just for you who you are at this moment. So in Luke chapter 14, verses 15 through 24, Jesus tells the parable of a certain man who was hosting this amazing banquet. He invited many, many, many people, but they all had excuses on why they should show up. One just got married, the other had just bought a field, and the other, who knows, they all had excuses. And through these excuses, um, there were so many seats available at this banquet. So the certain man that was hosting, he told his servant, make sure that everyone is invited. Everyone, the lame, the sick, the beggars, everyone, everyone's invited. Mm -hmm. And he still had trouble filling seats at this mm -hmm. party. And I really wanted to share this story because I feel like it is so the perfect example for God's invitation to us um into his kingdom into his uh relate into relationship with him right he is extending this open invitation and saying give everything up you don't have to worry about a thing just come and i'll provide everything you need and yet here we are as humans constantly coming up with excuses on why we can't come closer to the lord whether it's because we don't have enough time we're busy business people or we have children or um you know we're too sick or we're too tired or you know it could there's always going to be plenty of excuses on why we shouldn't do any one thing or another but this is the one decision that's crucial to your entire life and what comes of it afterwards my experience of making excuses um <laughs> uh, -oh. uh which one <laughs> uh oh uh oh um <laughs> This gotta be good. All right, guys, I was a party girl, okay? I was like a legit crazy party girl. And my excuses when I was like 18 years old, um, you know, uh, 19 years old around that area. Um, my mom is a uh, Christian. Um, I was raised in like a Christian home, but I kind of just drifted away from that. So <laughs> I really liked to party back then. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I really enjoyed partying um, excessively. Um, so that was one of the excuses. And then I realized that as time progressed that all of those didn't feel, um, didn't feed the void that I had inside. Because of my party girl uh, <laughs> habits, I thought that I couldn't come to Christ, you know, I couldn't show up to church and, you know, after a night of like getting drunk and just come up to church and be like, okay, you know, like acting like nothing ever happened. And to me, I thought that was the biggest hypocrisy I could ever do. So I literally stopped. I, I stopped attending churches. I stopped doing all that because I was young. I was young and I really wanted to have fun. Um, but anyways, fast forward uh, a few years later, then I started going and searching for God. Um, but then when I accepted and actually told him to come in um i did have a hard time so when i started going back to church um i did feel that you felt guilty right guilty i felt so guilty that i left him behind for all these years um i felt guilty that um i just didn't feel like i could do anything more for him and even in my time of brokenness or even in my time of um searching i felt like even then i couldn't even measure up measure up or just be um just even take his invitation because i thought that you didn't it wouldn't be it. enough and i didn't deserve it yeah yeah and i think a lot of people can relate to that i know i can um you know i can think back to times where i just thought i needed to have everything together before i came to him and before i let him in and and i honestly felt like like God doesn't want to deal with this brokenness. God mm -hmm. doesn't want to deal with this depression that I'm going through. Um, 
it's a lot, it's too messy, um, you know, I'm, I'm too far gone. And the truth is, is that that's not how God looks at us. You can literally read, I'm pointing at the Bible, you can literally read the entire Bible and you will see more than enough instances where the Lord says, just come to me, come and see for yourself. Come and I will show you. Come and I will reveal myself. And, um, you know, too often because of our own excuses, we give up and pass up on that opportunity. So we just want to help as best as we can to present the word to you. If you haven't gotten it before, if you've gotten it and haven't understood it, or if you just need a little refresher, um, we just want to help fill that void. So our goal with Invited is to invite everybody to the kingdom of God and that God is actually waiting with his arms open wide for you to come in. And the miss and the biggest misconception is that you have to be perfect. When yeah. in all reality, we don't need to be perfect to come into the kingdom of God. He's really calling you and asking you to come in, in your brokenness, um, in your pain, in your sorrow, and everything of the chaos of the world that you're dealing with right now. He, does, he, he doesn't care and he doesn't mind it. The only thing he's just waiting for is for you at this very moment. And he wants you to show up. Yes. He extended the invitation. Now it's up to you to get there. And with that, we'll wrap it up because we're getting kind of long and I know you guys don't like super long YouTube videos. Uh, we'll leave the rest for videos to come. And we hope that you join us on this journey where we get to know the Lord more and we get to know you more and we all grow together in the kingdom and bring more people in so that this party can get even better. And bigger. And funner. I like that.